Yeah, I mean, on, on all sorts of levels, like, didn't we think we were done with this? For people with seasonal affective disorder or SAD, it can be a trigger, what the uh, Mayo Clinic actually calls the fallback blues. As the leaves turn along with the calendar, it's coming, the gloom. The dark at 4.30 in the afternoon times. The commute's home where the light we see comes not from the sun, but from the cars on the road. But hey, weren't we supposed to avoid this part? And I'm happy to sign this bill. On May 8th of 2019, nearly a year and a half ago, Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill as Washington became the third state to go for year-round daylight saving. Now we're going back off daylight savings time again. What happened? Well, we do need federal approval to move to permanent daylight saving time. And so that takes either congressional action or the stroke of a pen of one of our secretaries. Um, my goal was always to move us in unison as a region. And uh, we've had states around us that have passed this bill. Representative Marcus Riccelli of Spokane was a key sponsor in Olympia. And here's the thing. The move to permanent daylight saving time is super bipartisan. Only a handful of senators and House members said no. And King 5 has covered this issue for years. Sunrise wouldn't happen until about 9 a.m. in December. However, we'd have much more daylight after school and after work. The sunset would be closer to about 5.30, giving us at least some daylight at the end of the day. No, it doesn't make daylight longer, just moves us to the part that most of us at least consider the most important part, the end. But I came to it from a health perspective. We have an obesity and diabetes epidemic. If it's lighter, longer, um, more people can recreate and get out and about. Um, I'm really concerned about our youth. And the issue around health also continues this way, whether you're switching to the fall or switching back into the spring in terms of associations with heart attacks, more car accidents, because some people are driving drowsy. And even at this time of year, starting next week or on Sunday, more crime with darkness coming earlier. Live in Linwood, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.